All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are real time. Today, we got episode one of our brand new show, Sharp Objects. This one's called Vanish. Uh, this has been one of the probably top two, I'd say, most requested shows for the past few months on our Patreon. It's been this and Big Little Lies. So we definitely wanted to get around to both of them, but this one first because it is shorter it's eight episodes so looking forward to this i honestly don't know like anything about this besides i think uh amy adams is in, the, in this one and is the is this the one that has the girl from little women in it beth or maybe or, or she's either in this or in uh big little lies I, I i get a mix up a little bit but uh that's that's all i know is is that i don't i actually don't know the plot at all uh, I, <laughs> I feel like i might have read it before and i forget but like I said, I get this mixed up with Big Little Lies a lot. So either, one of them's a mystery. I know that uh, or like a thriller or something. So I'm excited. You guys very, very much are pu have been pushing it. So I think it'll be great. And I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, I've never actually heard about Sale before, but I know that it's very, very highly recommended from you guys. So I'm sure that it will be fantastic. Um, the last show we did like this was Severance. I mean, obviously there's a new season. I don't know if there's another season to this or not, but it was a, like a shorter eight episode, nine episode kind of thing, and it was fantastic. Um, we got it done super fast. We watched these, uh, um, like the ones with not a lot of episode shows quicker, and it's more fun because it's not like expanded out in a long period of time. And I'm really excited for this. I mean, Amy Adams... I like her a lot and I really want to get into this. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much in the same boat. I don't know anything about the show. I except I think it has something to do with like a journalist. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that there's like a journalist in journalism. So I we'll see. Maybe Amy Adams is a journalist, but I'm also a big Amy Adams fan. We watched her in Arrival awesome awesome movie just from what you guys have said about this show and like how much it's been requested i just i have a strong feeling that we're all gonna like it and it's gonna be very good all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys are excited for all these sharp objects reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description the first one's our patreon we have the full watch alongs for each of these episodes up on there as well as early access to future reactions for this show we also got our discord we're gonna have a sharp objects talk in there if you guys want to come chat to our community about the show we also got all of our social medias uh our po box and our second channel a talk down there check all that stuff out and let's get into it sharp objects episode one vanish let's go this kind of scares me Yeah, I feel unsettled. Feels like there could be butchery in this. Butcher? Butchery. The guy from the boys he met. Butchery? Yeah, like some sort of like pigs dying. I think the word is butchering. Slaughtering? Slaughter? Butchery. I think that butchery is a word. word. I think it is. Butchery. It sounds wrong. It's bird. It's... Hey, Sharp Objects fans. Verd. Get used to it. <laughs> it's, no. It's word. It's word. I have purse. Adams is a predecorative, sir. Oh, no. Leave, <laughs> leave, leave the set. Leave the set. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wind Gap, Missouri. I'm also getting freaking... Ooh. This is sorry, but it's ninety two. Ninety two. Also getting American Horror Story vibes. Someone's gonna get hit by a car. Oh, I definitely know this this girl up front. I've seen her in something. Vanish. One of these two are gonna vanish, right? Potentially. I feel like it's gonna be this little girl. It's always the younger one that vanishes in those stories. Yeah, so that the older sibling can feel guilt about being there when it happened. I should have protected her. Are they not supposed to be in here? I don't think so. Or this is their home. Maybe and they're late. Maybe they're late, yeah. Yeah, because they, they were skating and saying, like, you think mom will notice or something? That's Barack. Okay, so what? It's not 1992. When does this take place? They just still got the Bush posters up. It was Clinton. 
What the hell? Pokey pokey time. What? Okay, wait. I think Sharp object. So I think it was ninety two. And I think she walked into her I think that, that girl and Amy Adams are the same person. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think she walked in from her ninety two home into her present day home or something like that. Transition wise. That makes sense why the posters were like that. Yes, sir. Looks like she has a wife. Always, but you don't. Maybe a sister. We know she has a sister. I guess we don't know that they're the same person, but I'm pretty sure they are. But you talked. Not if I can help it. Well, read the wires then. Jesus Christ, there was a murder there last August. A little girl got strangled. Jesus. Well, I didn't know. Well, then you also don't know that another one's missing now. Uh oh. Sounds like a suit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm not going to win a Pulitzer off of one guy. You're not winning a Pulitzer because you're only half good at writing. Ooh. Journalism. I'm your boss. So goodbye. She doesn't seem like she wants to return home. Not a good relationship with her fam. That was the room the younger version of herself looked at. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think she walked like it was a transition from her childhood home and she walked into her present day home. By the way, she just was casually sipping absolute vodka. Oh yeah, ripping a shooter. So. I think she might be a drinker. Her fu Someone wrote on the back of her dirt. car, dirt. <laughs> Out of the dust. Dude, people in my high school used to write crazy shit in the dust on the back of people's cars. Where is St. Louis located? Missouri. Missouri. I was just talking about my my friends the other day what is the most like not talked about state i always think like nebraska was, no but they're the corn i i always think like one of the dakotas like north i, Di I said arkansas mm, i don't know comment below i feel like nebraska is like one of my idaho friends, one of my friends said nevada but the thing <laughs> is like nevada not Las nevada Vegas. the thing is idaho like i, I immediately think potatoes yeah like it has something big. about it it's pretty like when you think of rhode North, island smallest state it has like a all right work about on. it yeah north dakota what do you think maine south I, dakota someone maine, maine. I, I think of lobster rolls well, maine all right we're done a, maine's i got shit that, bro <laughs> i'm stacking them what are you saying maine's a place that is visited a lot though i said everyone says the north dakotas and south dakotas are the first answer so it's always like not them because <laughs> they're the most answer for the but, yeah, uh, I I don't know. A little backwards thinking. Mine's Arkansas. That's it's not bad. It's not a bad one. I think Nebraska is good. Dude, Damn. she's just ripping the shooters. Oh, that it, it's blood. doing like yeah, we're getting these, a lot of flashes. Yeah. Oh, Yo, was that Sydney Sweeney? What the fuck? Wait, was it? A, no, I think actually she is in the show. Dude, that was Sydney Sweeney. I yeah. swear to God, it looked like an AI Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Maybe like that's her sister. Maybe I, I think that's I, her little sister. I was gonna say either her sister. Or I was gonna say her in her teenage years. Maybe like her old like yeah. There's a middle actress. They have guns. Yeah, probably just hunting. Oh, he's not aiming at her. Well, it is. <laughs> yeah, he is. His name's probably Billy. I bet you his name's Billy. Little Not shit. Sure. Oh, come on, Billy. <laughs> Billy Andrews. Maybe that's the serial killer, the guy who pointed the gun at her. Dude, she definitely has just crazy trauma. Yeah. Crazy. You can Can't tell. Can't wait to unpack it. Oh. Those porns. It looked like it. Yep, definitely. That's how people used to... Emster bait. Magazines. Yeah. Whoa, oh, what the fuck is a, all that? I feel like somebody got a, a kill. Crazy pictures. I feel like the serial killer might live in this place. You think? I ain't live in it, like use it. I feel like this is just like a common shed that people use. Was it an outhouse as well? I couldn't tell. Why was there meat there? 
Maybe drawing it for jerky. One of the girl, like the girl that went missing or something, or I don't know. You think there's a chance maybe her little sister died back in the day? Definitely. And it could be the same person coming back? Definitely. That's what I was getting. Oh, well, two girls skating. Probably reminds her of her and her sister. This isn't going to be a... He's a one poster of himself right there. I had one of those in my room growing up. That's so silly. Of that guy. <laughs> huh. Okay. Chief Vickery. Love him. My mom is Adora Krellen. She married out of her maiden name about 30 years ago to uh, Alan. Krellen. Sure, okay. You're the... You moved away. Mm, uh, see how it sounds like there's a story about them. The first girl I found last August strangled with a clothesline at Dumpton Falls Creek. Some hunters found her. Jeez. I'm going out to join the search party now. Hopefully we'll turn up a dead little girl. Jesus. She's definitely a drinker. That's for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. You looking for the search? Yeah. That's, uh, isn't that Beth from Little Women? Let me see. Because this place is so totally dead. <laughs> dead. It's all. Not too smart for these girls to be out. Also not too smart to just be going out like this by herself. Probably. Oh gosh. What the heck? Dude, I... It's just gonna be one of those shows where I'm just gonna want to know the whole time. I'm up in St. Louis now. I'm with the Chronicle. This is the love interest? Oh dude, I definitely have seen this guy in something else. It's Nathan Fielder, I think. Really? No. <laughs> Bro. You want that sweet tea? That sweet tea with a little bit of a kick in it. I know when you face all this out of kick. Uh, I'm fine, I'm on the job. You still working for that newspaper? What do you mean? You've been drinking all day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. On the job. Keep that buzz going. Dirty. Dirty. Altoids, Altoids. Yo, pull yours out. I don't have any right now. Uh. Ate them all like candy. Like I eat my vitamins. Mm. You don't believe me? Is she actually hearing girls or is she just remembering? I think she's, it's like one of those flashback things okay. she got going on. <laughs> So they definitely does come from old money. They are rich. My editor sent me down last minute. Your editor? <laughs> yeah, he just wears that around the house, bro. It's... <laughs> I'm just lounging right now. He's so rich. When Gap murders his children, is that what you want people to say? Well, it can be really helpful to get information out. If people come forward. Well, I just can't have that kind of talk around me for children. Just... Don't tell me what you're doing, what you know. Why is she... Maybe is this is I think it's, yeah. Yeah, it's so personal, probably, to her. This house, like, scares me a little bit. Like, it just feels, like, ominous. I feel like her mom just kind of scares me, too. Who was on this bench there? What? Did you not see there was a little girl sitting on the bench? No. There was a little girl with red hair sitting on the bench when the mom walked away. I didn't see. Maybe like a imagination? Ghost, maybe. Maybe you're imagining things I now. I swear. First I saw Sydney Sweeney, now I see this. I saw Sydney Sweeney. Hey. That daughter looks sick. She looks like ill. She just looks sweating. I feel like that's Again, a common thing yeah, so I far. Guess it's mostly just that she looks sweaty. But Amy Adams doesn't look. Oh, oh. It's a ghost. 
Is she, is she having a seizure? Dude, what is going on? It's like she's being haunted by her past. She just dipped. Can't do it, probably. <laughs> For 2,000 people in town, they got a little bit of a turnout here. Bill? Hey, I know you. I heard you were back in town. That's the guy who pointed the gun. <laughs> yeah, probably. That man got nothing against him. I wouldn't try to eat that one down there alive. Always for curtain. What is he talking about? I don't know. Shit, you ought to see this place on Friday nights. Tell me, what's your song? The Ring of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> the Ring of Fire. <laughs> That looked like the dude from Crawdads. What's Crawdads? Where the Crawdads yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. R. Is that Tate? Isn't that him? You talking about Tate? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Tate. Is this your spot? This what you do? You come here and you drink. You got it. Is he the the? Mm, I don't recognize. Him. I don't recognize him either. <gasps> I think you think you recognize. No, him. I definitely. It's have a seen it's him a you only show. I think uh, might be. Big recall for backup. I think he regrets it now. Doesn't like my style. At least I'm investigating. You don't think he is? Come on, you know I'm gonna get the story one way or another. Wouldn't you rather be in control of the conversation? She loves saying that. <laughs> like you're about to go talk to Young Keen over there. Oh, is that who that is? Oh. Yeah, reporters aren't supposed to talk to minors without parental permission. Jesus, I was just gonna hit on him. So that guy's the brother of the girl missing right now, I guess? I'm assuming, yeah. She seems like she shouldn't be driving. I think there might be someone in the backseat. You're just gonna chill right here and sleep? <laughs> Holy shit. Car is probably dead. It is. Wonder if that's water or <laughs> vodka. You don't know. But please, don't embarrass me. No, ma'am. What? What? Everything you do comes back on me. Understand? Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> I haven't heard from you in months. And you just show up asking such horrible, morbid. Mm, it's her job. What do you want her to do? And I just, I went for a drive. I was uh, beat, so I, I, I pulled over to be safe. Did anyone see? <laughs> anyone see? See you sleeping in a car? <laughs> This mom is crazy. Yeah, she frightens me. Why is she picking her eyelashes? She's probably taking them off. That was someone's funeral. The sister. The sister's dad. She loves shooters. That's not a shooter. She could probably shoot it down. <laughs> Pretty early, huh? Look at this man. That guy should not be out on his own. I'm getting the vibe it's only young girls that have been killed. And by vibe, I mean what they've presented as evidence so far. You think this is the dad of someone who went missing? Yeah. yeah. Father of Anne. The f I think it's the first girl. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying, bro. It's a nightmare for everybody. I would love a chance to uh, speak with her. With your wife. I'll ask, but she's not. This thing. She ain't been the same. Seems like her mom hasn't either. I'm so hungry. Can I make What do you do when that door's closed, Amanda? Knock. You knock. You knock. Next time you forget what's going on, you chart. I mean, this family's probably just aft. Driving back from office in Hades, buying our way. Don't write that down. Why are you writing that down? I'm sorry. People around here don't like us because we keep to ourselves. Dude, it seems like you 
getting a bit angry. Wow. She gave him hell. So you got a feeling about him. His wife wasn't around. It looked like she, she thinks it was him that did it? I didn't really get that vibe at all, honestly. Do you guys think it could be him? Eh, I don't think that there's a little any tiny way. bit. When he said he was driving. That's a hundred percent him. <laughs> that is him. I love the Marsh girl. Oh my god, there's a body there. There's Seriously? a body. You see that legs hanging there? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my god. Who is that? Looks like a young girl. This kid shouldn't see that. Oh. Fuck. I mean, I hate Jim Bean, but I feel like after seeing what they just saw, it's appropriate. You're saying Bean? Jim Beam? You're saying with an N? M. M. Uh, Jim Beam. Jim Beam. I thought you kept saying Jim Beam. <laughs> Is it Mr. Beam? Beam, 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 I beam that kid! Bean. You should let me drive you home, you're shaking. She got the shakes. She's actually an alcoholic. She literally has the, the alcohol shakes. Mm -hmm. Where is she shaking from? No, it's the liquor. Did you find something? I'll show you mine. Uh, like, why the hell would they not work together? She loves herself some liquor. <laughs> like, really does. Needs it to function. And the apple doesn't... F Look, she she literally just picks at her eyelashes all day. I had to give the police a statement. I was there... Oh gosh, is this character like alcohol, huh? What? Our character likes alcohol. Yeah. I wonder... Why well, haven't we seen their daughter yet? Emma? Yeah. Hey, Mama. Mama. I can't... I can't talk right now. Okay, I need to sleep. I don't think I'll sleep for another. Here we go. Yeah. What? Oh my god, yeah. You've been around though, I haven't said hello. I can be shy, I guess. I don't know. But she's sneaking. Yeah. I never would have recognized you, Adora. Stop sending those Christmas pictures. She better be careful, bro. Yeah, bro. That's not some shit you play around with. I know she just wants to have fun with her friends, but... But also... Camille is really cool for just being so casual about that. Yeah, I, she didn't even know that that was her sister until right now. I know, but she... I, I would have been like... Yeah. I've, I've been just... seeing her outside. <laughs> Everybody's resting. <laughs> rest, rest, rest. It's the time I've, of rest. No one's going to be able to pee. I've had enough of the rest. You get it? Now rest. They're all going to be in the restroom. Yeah. One for me. Marion, younger sister. So, do you think she, she just died that night that we saw? Mm. I'm mean, thinking it might be deeper. Yeah, I don't think. Rooted serial killer being. Also, she just doesn't call her mom, right? Adora. But now we can be sisters. Mm. Everyone always said you're the prettiest girl in Lincoln. No, I won't. You are. Well, we'll go banana to shave. You know, saw me my civvy. Civvies? What is that? Like civilian clothes? I don't know. I thought I was thinking maybe a car, like so a you're Civic. Of, you're thinking no. a Honda Civic? Nope. Or a lack. I knew we would be. <laughs> I don't. I'm worried about her. Yeah, she seems like a wild child. Jesus. 
That was, I think, her sister. Yeah. Maybe she did just die that night. There's some drama in Wind Gap. She looks like she's like in pain. I really like how it's silent in the flashbacks. What was she wiping off? I don't know, maybe it's one of those things you ever see like someone in their casket and you're like, that doesn't even look like them. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those things. I mean, I feel like trauma would be more like heavily occurred in a town of 2000. She, she was definitely sick. Did you see the hospital bed setup she had there? She had like an IV tower thing next to her bed. Definitely was ill. Absolute. I don't know if town size correlates to tr trauma. I think if you lose a sister, either way. No, I meant just like, I feel like that's why the whole town is kind of like, just not in good like mood. There's an active serial killer as well. They just found another little girl. I know, but it's just much worse in a town of 2000. What is? Like, just the whole trauma thing. I feel like it would be easier to deal with, say it was New York City. Oh my god, her back. Whoa. Her whole body, bro. Are those words? Am I tripping her? Yeah, they're words. Maybe she wrote dirty. What does, what does it say? April? I saw April. Vanish. vanish. It said vanish. Chills. What I don't know what that fuck? means. But... <laughs> All right. First episode, Sharp Objects. I thought that was a really good start. Um, it is a mystery, it seems like, which is definitely right up our alley, I feel like. I think a lot of the stuff so far is right up our alley um it feels extremely serious the show yes it's like there is no comedic elements to this at all it's just i mean you surely can't make a show with this type of plot funny i mean literally she's obviously returned to her hometown of wind gap and uh is she's she's a journalist for the st louis chronicle and is investigating kind of like doing some detective work about the serial killer that's literally killing strangling little girls in the town like it it's just an insane thing um i i think there's a lot more to unpack about her and her story obviously we do know that her little sister marianne died when she was young she looked very young in, in her casket which is terrible but i think there's going to be a lot more that we figure out about her whole story and her life um i don't know if, if if it was simply just her her passing away there while presumably having a seizure um in the bed next to her because obviously that would still induce a ton of trauma mm -hmm. being next to someone and having a cute little moment with the heart up on the ceiling and then her dying but uh yeah i don't know i'm, I'm starting to think now that maybe the whole like ser he was a serial killer when they were girls if, if her sister passed like that, I don't think that's that's the thing. I think it might be a new thing. But regardless, it's going to be interesting trying to figure out who this person is that's, yeah. that's killing these little girls. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a fantastic start. I'm fully locked in now. I mean, it's just the kind of stuff I like. Mystery, uh, serial killer on the loose. Like, it's just very entertaining to watch. Um at the end though I'm, I'm not sure like were those scars like real like what do you mean by real i meant like are they like maybe it was just like a so, some sort of like i don't know they're just showing us like the episode name on like, she, nah, like I, imagery i think she yeah. has those scars imagery is what i was going for i think i think they're real but also i'm just trying to think like you can't carve shit on your back. No, like I that. think someone did that. That's what to I'm her. saying. Yeah. It looks like they literally use like a I mean, box cutter. Yeah. Like I think the first thing I thought of when we saw the scars was that that scene uh, in the beginning 
when it's like the young version of Camille walking into her room, she walks up to her hand with like a sharp thing and is like poking sharp it. objects. And that's what that's kind of what it looks like. Those scars is like someone's just taking sharp stuff and just carving words into the skin. But yeah, I definitely don't think that uh, she did that to herself. At least not all of it. Yeah, I was just confused because it just said vanish. And that's some. She probably didn't do that to her. Maybe it was like her past self, like who has given her them, like the scars. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed that start. I think that the detective and her are gonna have some sort of romance. Yeah, I loved this. This was a fantastic uh, first episode. I'm very much interested and uh, invested in the story now. Um, not what I was expecting it to be, but was pleasantly surprised. Uh, it honestly, like, I did feel like that American Horror Story vibe a little bit, but I was also getting like true detective vibes. Like it felt very much so like there is a, a puzzle that needs to be put together here. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it's just gonna be a very good show um, right off the bat. All the characters seem interesting. Camille's mom scares me. I feel like there's so much going on with that lady that we just have no, no clue about. So uh, I'm sure we're gonna see more of her. And uh, just, just Camille as a character seems so like interesting, but also she kind of scares me too with just like how casual she is sometimes. And then like the heavy drinking we saw in this episode, just there's a lot going on with her too. I mean. And her body's covered in scars. It's just she is a, a total mystery, and I'm very, very much looking forward to to figuring all these these questions out. All right, guys, that is it though for Sharp Objects episode one. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk. All of our social media is in the address to our PO box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for episode two of Sharp Objects. Peace out.